Hi everyone, this is Charles bringing you tutorial three of our tutorial basic series. Um, of course, this is a GUD's Civil War II. Um, so at the end of the last tutorial, we had just sent a cavalry, uh, it's really a brigade, three regiments and a, an artillery battery um, down into, um, I think this is in the way, normally this won't be here. Um, yep, down into Decatur. And now we see that uh, there is a, a small division, um, Withers Division, led by with uh, Rex and Bragg in command. Um, now, what we want to do is basically we're going to attack that, that force this turn. So if you go to, um, once you go to the next, the next tutorial, there's, there's quite a bit here, but I'm just going to basically go through it for you. It, what it says is, Click on Sherman's core and drag it out. And I'm going to do the same with uh, Lewis Wallace's command. And when I click on Sherman's core, you'll see that Grant's um, Army of the Cumberland, or Grant's stack and game term is, is pulsating red, and vice versa. Um, what that means is that there is a an army and a core command system where Lou Wallace, of course, is nothing, he's not flashing at all, so he's on an independent command. Um, for this simple tutorial, actually, we want to attack, and since we don't have a lot of forces, and we're going to do this in a very simple manner, I'm actually going to merge Sherman's Corps with the Army of the Cumberland, okay? So the way I do that is this. I am left-click on Sherman's Corps, the tab at the top, that's the gray one, and I drag it over and drop it off right on top the Army of the Cumberland. And now um, they are together. And I think there's actually another way we can do this as well. Like, for example, we can also just drop. Yep, there we go. Um, you can, you can, if you really zoom in closely, and I'll do it for you on, on the on the on the video. You see, like, there's basically it's like these two soldiers, and they're coming together. Um, yeah, so that that works as well. And now we have um, the Army of Cumberland with power of 819. So that's actually the largest power we've seen of any individual. Stack. Um, okay, so what we want to do um, is basically, okay, this is what we just did. We just just merged these. We want to go down and attack um, Bragg's, Bragg's force, specifically Withers Division down here in Madison. Okay, so the way we can do that is just like we did with the cavalry yesterday. Um, all right, I want you to look at this very closely. I'm left click on the stack and drag it, just simply drop it off in this region. Okay, so I can also left click on the tab, the gray tab, and drop it off. Now, in, um, I've lost our box, in, in the tutorial, it says, okay, this takes 11 days and in addition, actually the tutorial doesn't say that. It says that it takes 11 days here. But the tutorial talks about, okay, we're crossing the uh, Forker Deer River, it looks like. And that, of course, gives a moderate defensive advantage to um, the force that's already there. So it says we can um, delete. Oop, back. You, you can delete where you want to go, or not delete. You can back up, delete the turn, or re remove the turn by pressing the delete in this case twice. Um, another option is to pick up the stack and drop it off at the previous um, the, the starting location. All right, so the next thing it says is basically do sort of a roundabout march. Go down here and then go over here. Now, I'm actually not going to do that. And the reason why is because I want us to have a battle this turn, and so I'm going to, for the tutorial's sake, well, I'll, we'll take the extra casualties, um, and and uh, we'll cross, we'll, we'll attack across the river. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it for for this turn. We are going to hit next turn, so we can see the battle unfold. Um, so basically, you learned how to uh, merge stacks. Again, we reiterated how to do a simple order. Um, 
You can always delete that order by pressing the delete key or dropping off at a previous location. Um, and of course, now we know that rivers um, give defensive advantages to those on the other side that are defending. Okay, so I'm gonna press the proceed to next turn. And what we will see is um, Grant's Army of the Cumberland moving south um, through Humboldt, uh, crossing the river, and then the battle ensues. And it is still a Union victory. Um, looks like we lost 276 men, 61 horses, and zero cannon. Looks like Bragg's force lost, but it looks like they lost about a third, um, third of them. And uh, I'm sure we'll be looking at this. This is kind of um, basically more details on our elements. So we had we had six elements that, that fought, and looks like they had. Uh, um, oh, we have we actually have more. We had the, the supply wagons too. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and they had they had these three. Of course, our biggest one is uh, is the, is the division. So I'm gonna press exit, and then the the game continues. So um, that was a like half a month. It's 15 days. So basically, each month is is 30 days. Um, and you kind of lose five days. You kind of lose five days a year. All right, now I do want to briefly go ahead and show us um, what else we can see. One thing is is that the army uh, combat power has decreased 759. That represents the losses um, as well as, of course, they're a bit tired after um, after marching. Now we can see a new force here in, in Corinth, and um, it looks pretty small. It's it's. Uh, Albert Johnson's uh, Army of the Mississippi, and uh, there's not a whole lot there. What's left of Bragg's force, um, the left wing by Polk, so probably a core basically, and then of course militia. Okay, well that's been tutorial three. Uh, we are moving along um, in our campaign to to take Corinth, and um, yeah, in this in this series. All right, see you next time.